What's up YouTube community, Bernd here, welcome back to another video lesson. This week we'll focus on technique and playing fast again, as we compare the different licks and playing styles of legato and alternate picking. So let's check out the specific sounds and benefits of each playing style in detail today. I've seen tons of players, especially in rock and metal, argue about this topic over the years. Though you really have to pick every single individual note in your shred licks so they sound super fast and articulated, or should you rely on different legato approaches to get that kind of clean connected sound. So for today's lesson I thought it would be fun to check out those two playing styles back to back and we'll also talk a bit about the advantages and disadvantages of each one. So without further ado, here's the practical example I recorded for you this week. <laughs> As you could hear I was playing two different takes over the same backing track. The first one serves as a good example of how I use different legato playing styles and hybrid picking approaches in my playing at the moment and the second one highlights the typical 3 note per string alternate picking madness that I really love. As always the tabs and guitar profiles of the two takes I played are available on Patreon for all Shred Guitar community members. I also made sure to upload the cool backing track in E minor that I was playing over so you can give the licks a try or play anything else you want over it. And in case you didn't already know I upload the PDF tabs, guitar profiles practice backing tracks and much more for every single lesson that I post on YouTube on the Shred Guitar community on Patreon. Let's continue by talking a bit about legato playing. <laughs> The thing that I personally like most about this playing style is how fluid and smooth it can sound like when you put in the time and effort. <laughs> At the moment I'm studying the playing style of the legato master Tom Quayle. He's using hybrid picking for his legato phrases, so they sound even more fluid and connected. Because sometimes when you only use your pick, you can clearly hear that the first note is accented with legato licks. And that can be really bad for your timing and sound, because the most important factor with this kind of playing style is that all the notes are audible, have the same kind of dynamics and volume, and they are also in time, so I don't want it to sound like that. Where I can clearly hear the accent every time I'm picking the note and every string. The listener should not be able to hear uh, the string transitions at all. So in the best case it would sound something like that. Here I'm using my right hand to block the strings and I'm not picking at all, I'm just using hammer-ons and pull-offs. This is pretty hard to do. So this is something I do on a regular basis whenever I feel too confident about my legato abilities. It's really hard to get a good articulated and connected sound without your right hand at all. So if you like this cool playing style, there are actually just two basic motions you have to get down. The hammer-on and the pull-off of course. I'm sure that you heard about these two techniques already. They are pretty hard to execute, especially on the higher strings. You don't want it to sound like that. Here the hammer on with my pinky finger is already swallowed up by the noise gate that I'm using. It has to sound exactly like the note that you're playing with your right hand, with your pick. We will get to specific licks a bit later in a different video, but for now to test your legato abilities at the moment, you should do this uh, basic exercise. Just take the semi-chromatic scale from the 5th to the 8th fret on every string and play hammer rounds only for every single string and pay close attention to the sound of every note. As we said, we don't want it to sound like super powerful picking stroke. Very weak hammer-ons. The listener shouldn't really hear a difference in sound. And of course the way down is even harder. So uh, pull-offs all the way. And with the pull-offs you really want that kind of snapping motion. You don't just want 
to leave the string with your finger. This sounds totally different to that nice snap. This will be very important in the future when you speed it up. So the main benefits right here are a super fast and fluid sound. I also use this technique with clean sounds, crunch sounds and on acoustic guitar, especially whenever the alternate picking approach sounds a bit too aggressive with uh, too much pick noise, for example. As you can hear, there's a big difference in sound when I play the exact same lick with those two playing styles. <laughs> So one sounds a little bit more aggressive, while the other one sounds more fluid, smooth and kind of connected. That's the main difference between legato and alternate picking in my opinion. So when we get into alternate picking, our main approach is picking every single note. One thing that I hear often is that alternate picking is much harder than legato playing because of these different string transitions that you have to face when you play fast. Sometimes you have to play an upstroke on the next string with a group of three on the previous string for example. Sometimes you have to play a downstroke on the next string with a group of four for example. You have to be able to play in both directions of course. And when you play a three note per string phrase in triplets on every single string, those directions are constantly changing. So first, I'm starting with an upstroke on the next string, but then I'm starting with a downstroke on the next one. So upstroke, downstroke, and so on. And that can be very difficult because you tend to get stuck between the different strings. And also hand synchronization is a big topic, of course. With every single picking stroke, we want a note of our left hand right in time. So our hands need to be perfectly synchronized or else it would sound something like that. I'm sure you came across playing like that before. That's also how I started out sounding because I had developed some tremolo picking skills already. From playing different riffs, but I couldn't really synchronize that with my left hand. And that is the most important part here, obviously. But to me, both playing styles are equal. With legato style playing, it's very, very difficult to find the right timing for your licks because you don't have the exact uh, picking accents that you have with alternate picking. Here, I feel very in control about the timing of my lick since I can feel the downstrokes and upstrokes. And when I think in chunks, certain notes fall on the beat. And that makes it easy to time those kind of licks for me personally. But when I switch to legato playing, it can be much harder to play in time. Because when I play a long and complicated line, for example, I sometimes don't even use my right hand at all, so all the timing has to be in the left hand and I have to really nail those <laughs> different accents. So both playing styles are super hard to execute very clean at fast tempos and I really don't like alternate picking players talking down to legato players and the other way around. You should be able to do both to unlock the most creative possibilities. One rule, if you will, that I follow for my own guitar solos and improvised takes is that I use alternate picking for more aggressive sounds. <laughs> So I try to keep my movement, my right hand movement as small and as efficient as possible. But when I'm playing fast, of course, I have to move my right hand quite a lot to play in time. So it will always sound much more aggressive than my legato playing and for some songs that's just not the way to go. So by using my legato technique, I can play fast but very soft. So my hands are pretty relaxed when I play like that. And I also could do that with a clean sound or an acoustic guitar, for example. As a special community question, I'd really love to know which of those two playing styles you personally prefer and the reasons why, so make sure to leave a comment underneath this video. I hope that you enjoyed my little comparison video and that you can use some of my insights for your own playing. If you want to dive deeper into legato playing, make sure to check out Tom Quayle. He's an amazing legato player and he came across with this hybrid picking thing we talked about. And if you want to dive deeper into alternate picking, Troy Grady has an amazing YouTube channel with a lot of cool videos and I also posted some cool tutorials and exercises on that in case you missed them. In the 
the end, make sure to subscribe to join the community and to never miss a free guitar lesson again. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, that really means a lot to me. And a comment in case you have any questions. Please also remember to tell me which playing style you personally prefer. Head over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash bern, to get all the files for the lessons and have fun practicing. I will see you very soon, all the best until then.